Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. Let me read to you from Isaiah chapter 2, 1, 2, and 3. The word of Isaiah, the son of Amos, concerning Saul, concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above all hills and all nations shall flow to it. And many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Amen to that. That has been fulfilled. You know, Isaiah will use metaphorical language. The, the hill on which Jerusalem sat wasn't raised up another thousand feet, but the word of the Lord came out from it. His law, his teaching, particularly his Messiah. The, the Messiah that God sent linked with the name of Jerusalem and the story of the Jewish people in, in the imaginations of anybody who has ever heard the story. And Isaiah, in a very improbable time, I mean, relationships were chippy between, to say the least, between the people of Israel and the surrounding nations. They did not look at themselves as brothers and sisters heading along uh, on, this, on this journey of life. They were enemies, mostly or people at, least, at the minimum trying to get a great advantage out of somebody else. He said, there will be a day when all peoples will come toward, toward God and find him in Jerusalem. We look upon that city as the holy city because of the story that happened there, because of the coming of Jesus. And soon in, in Palm Sunday and Easter, we will celebrate his last day, last week in Jerusalem, ending in the cross, and then not ending, but being begun again as his glorious resurrection. So be blessed, my friend, as you also are part of all those nations heading forth to hear the word that comes from Mount Zion. Be blessed.